Hey guys, it's Jerry the Port Historian, and tonight we are going to be trying to clean up a late 1800s Mexican cavalry saber. So I think we're going to start this project off by trying to clean up the blade. It's a fairly simple process. I'll probably be using some um, different grits uh, to try to remove some of the rust. Uh, very smooth. And then afterwards we'll move on to the handle and see if we can try to replace this thing back to the way it was when it first came out of the factory and was used by a soldier or a police officer in the Mexican Republic. see that this sword has lost its leather wrap around the handle at some point through its life. As you scroll up, as you scroll along, you can see this República Mexicana, República Mexico, Mexican Republic with a Liberty hat, maker's mark, and on the back. AC Mexico, Armaria Central, a central armory located in Mexico City. So you can see that this blade is not very shiny. Um, you can also see some marks here where someone, I assume, attempted to clean it in the past. But you can see the scuffing here and this rusting, especially this heavy stuff over here. We are going to try to remove that using some light sanding sponges. see under the rust there's a bit of these light stains sometimes people refer to them as pitting stains but I don't think these are actually deep enough to constitute that we might have to come back to this after we're done sanding and use some uh, more chemical techniques to try to remove that and get this in back into a nice smooth shiny steel blade Cleaning stuff inside this secondary fuller is a difficult thing to do. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the sanding sponge and using just the angle, the corner of it, to try to get that in this small secondary fuller to clean that out a bit. It's doing a decent job. Uh, we'll see how it goes when it gets a little bit dirtier towards the end or on the other side. Now we're going to get the back strap. It's a part that's frequently forgotten doesn't have too much rust on it, but we'll give it a good clean, and then we'll jump to the other side. Uh, the reverse side of the blade has a bit of extra rust on it and other sort of pitting. So we might have to put a little bit more elbow grease into this side. But uh, we will see what we can do to restore this absolute beauty. So 
So, the secondary fuller on this side is a little bit in worse condition than it was on the other. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take some sandpaper and try to roll it up, or at least fold it over, try to get in that little crevice. Alright guys, so the chemical that I kept referring to is this nail polish remover, 100% acetone, okay? You can actually get this from Walmart, which is where I got it, for a dollar. So we're going to use this to try to make this, this sword more smooth, more clean, and then we'll bring back the shine after we can get it all to a nice uniform color. acetone really didn't do the trick with this stuff here but and over here in the sections where it's just raw steel no issues or anything man that looks pretty so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a quick rub down of this whole sword to get rid of any sort of little scuffs and divots down the blade uh, and just make it look really pretty okay let's give it a shot guys cleaning that last side the uh, four side with acetone actually turned out pretty good we're gonna try to do it on the back strap and the reverse side just see if we can get that nice shine to come on this side as well make it look gorgeous let's try it So that level of acetone, that layer of acetone has all evaporated, uh, left this pretty nice looking blade behind. We still weren't able to get some of that pitting out of there, but for now, I think we're going to put a semi-permanent, after we do a little bit of spot cleaning, semi-permanent um, oil, a mineral oil over top of it. A lot of people like using Renaissance wax. But I am not that fancy yet, at least I don't think I've done a decent enough job with this sword yet, so we will simply be using a light mineral oil. Alright, so now we are going to move on to the hilt. Our arsenal of attack, brasso, metal polish. And we're gonna we're gonna put it on with a little bit of paper towel and then we are going to try to scrub it off with a brillo pad to try to remove some of this nasty gross you know patina on this brass that really covers up the true beauty of the sword underneath Alright you guys, the Brasso compound is on, and you can already see that it's loosening up some of that gunk and really bringing out a much brighter yellow 
hue from this brass here. Uh, I'm really excited to scrape this stuff off and just see how beautiful this Mexican sword was back in its heyday. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> I have finished removing all of that veneer from that uh, hilt. Looks pretty. I'm sure there's spots that I've missed. There were lots of nooks and crannies on this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an oily rag, wipe it all down, and I was gripping the blade quite a bit too, so I'm going to give that another wipe down as well. Uh, and then I think we're going to call it a day. Like I said, I have no idea how to replace the leather on this yet, so I am not going to touch it. But we will see how this sword looks after it gets its final bath. And then we'll probably return to it in a future video. Let's take a look. Well guys, this might not have been the prettiest clean, uh, but I think it looks loads better. And we did it all by hand, which is really neat. So we will see if we can uh, put this one in it back on its place on the wall, a new found clean and shine to it, and maybe we'll return it later, return to it later, to try to fix up that hilt and maybe get some of that scuff marking off of the blade. We'll see you next time.